Okay, I'm John Skinner, and I'm going to be taking a look at how to fish rig deals. Um, you can see how nice this eel looks in the water, and how uh, pretty short uh, pulls on the rod create a very nice pulsating action. That certainly looks uh, pretty enticing to me. All right, a very brief look at the retrieve speed I'm using. Um, it might look a little fast, but I'm casting into very shallow water. I'm standing on a rock that's in maybe five feet of water, casting into about seven feet of water. So, um, and, and there's a lot of rocks and stuff to snag on, so I, I need to keep the eel a little bit high. All right, so let's, let's get down to business here. Um, first, note that um, rig deals cast much nicer than live eels. You'll see here that... Uh, I actually get some pretty good distance with this. Okay, so here's the uh, retrieve, and again you'll note that I'm taking very short lifts. Uh, I'll put in an occasional twitch, but um, between uh, using a graphite rod and braided line, um, every little movement really uh, goes to the eel and makes it pulsate. Okay, so um, on my YouTube channel, jskinner5278, I have a video on how I rig these eels. Um, there's also a nice video on rigging eels on the Surfcasters Journal website. Um, I'm going to be quiet now, and I would suggest you turn up the volume a little bit, and uh, this could be interesting. Okay, that was fun. Um, I just want to play some of this back in slow motion and point out that uh, when rig deal fishing, uh, I'm staying in a very uh, ready to strike position. I mean, if you know you play through that again, you'll see the hit is nothing more than a tap. And um, I'm going to set the hook very hard, and then I set that hook hard multiple times. And the way I fight a fish around rocks is I'm going to try the best I can to not let that fish turn his head. And that's what I'm doing right here is I'm not letting that fish turn his head. I'm fishing 30 pound braid. Um, I'm gonna lean very hard. This is a big fish. Uh, I know eventually it's gonna take a run, but if I can get it closer to me and tire it out a little bit before it takes that run, I'm gonna be in a better position to land it. All right, so uh, where am I here? I'm on the North Fork of Long Island. Uh, normally you would do this fishing at night, but that wouldn't make for very interesting video. Um, this happened to be in the evening. It was kind of overcast and, and gave me a crack at um, getting a hook up like this. Alright, so I held that fish back pretty long, but um, it's getting some traction now. And 
it's going to get its run, and there it goes. Okay, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, thanks for watching.